Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, we're still talking Azure DevOps in ServiceNow, but I want to show you the secret behind those workflows that automatically sent incidents and customer service tasks over to Azure DevOps by creating a story and linking it back to their respective records. So we're going to stay in service now in this video, and I'm going to show you again the workflows. This is what they look like, and this is the step that I want to explain. Sync story with Azure DevOps. You can see here it's part of my incident flow. If we look at our customer service flow, we have the same action number two here, sync story with Azure DevOps. And that was key in order to do this to have those things pass back and forth, and you don't want to skip this step. But let's take a look at how easy that step is to create. So you're going to want to create that in your instance by coming up here to this plus sign and going to a new action. And when you create a new action, you get to specify inputs and some logic to happen with those inputs and then possibly some outputs from whatever that's doing. So this is loading up here and we'll show you in a second uh, once it's fully loaded. All right, that only took a couple of seconds to load up and notice my first input is going to be the story record. This is just a reference to the story table so we're gonna make sure that we have a story coming in and it's mandatory and our script step is super super simple now you should know there's a script to include with the agile development integration with Azure DevOps that, uh, that we're going to call, and they call it Agile ADO Utils. So basically, we're going to export the current record to ADO, and we're going to provide two inputs, the story record twice. Don't ask me why twice. I just got to work with twice. It's not going to break anything, and that's it. We're going to pass it that value, and I don't even think I have an output on this. Yeah, no output on this. We're just going to get the story record. We're going to run this little quick little script, and that's it. That's all that's executing in this flow when it's using this sync story with Azure DevOps. So we have the create story record. Now that record exists. Then we pass it to this custom action um, using the record right here. So I just drag over the story record and put it in my inputs for that action. And then that script will run. And then once that script's run, everything's happening in the background using the scripts includes already provided by ServiceNow to synchronize that story with Azure DevOps. So that's the magic action happening there. You see how easy this is to create. It's one line. Um, I'll even put it in my notes so you have it and you can grab that and put it in your action and use it to automatically synchronize your incidents, your customer service task, your fill in the blank task, anything that's a task record in ServiceNow to synchronize it automatically over to, Sur or to Azure DevOps. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in integrating ServiceNow and Azure DevOps with as much automation as possible. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.